So now let's see how um, it actually works, how you are going to insert a bibliography. So for example, you've got um, an idea. Um, let's take an example. You can present a citation in two ways. First of all, you're going to write the idea that somebody else gave you or um, the earth is round. And then you can just give the idea directly and then in parentheses um, I'll give the author and um, the year. Or you can say according to Galilei and then in parentheses give the year the earth is round. So these are two different ways but they amount to the same thing. In both it doesn't matter how you write it, it's going to be quite obvious to anyone that this is not your idea and this is Galileo's, Galilei's idea. And then of course so this is how it appears in the text. This is called the in-text citation. In-text citation. And then, so you've got the in-text citations during the paper, and then you've got the bibliographic um, section at the end. So once you've decided um, let's imagine that you have finished your paper and then you don't know how to present this um, piece of information. So for example, sometimes you see this, sometimes you see this. This is called the in-text citation format or sometimes you can even find this. And then uh, the reader has to go to the number one in the most usually into the um, bibliographic section and find what one stands for and it's going to be Galileo's Galilei uh, 1658 etc. So this is this should not concern you during the writing mode of a paper. So you have to understand that there are two different things. It's, there is the writing of a paper and there is the formatting of the paper. You should not worry about formatting during your writing. So with a software like Zotero you just insert this piece of information and then um, you're going to apply a new style that is going to um, be like this or like this or like this. All you need to decide is whether the information is going to be um, the idea and then in parentheses the author or according to Galileo's etc. So there you go and then you can have so this is the bibliographic um, the bibliographic section so you can get that one here goes to Lorenz um, 2010 etc etc see the, the paper here um, so when it has to do with bibliography you can see that um, the data is not um, disordered so for example unordered sorry so you can see that uh, for the four for all fours for um, references you've got the author comma the name of the book dot or full stop space um, this must be the publisher and then coma space and the year again 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 and again because the the reader has to be able to uh, retrieve the information in the bibliography uh, quite easily so if the year is here for the first one and then the year comes here then the year comes um, let's say here and then here it is quite painstaking for the reader to every time understand uh, uh, where to find the information. So you have to make it um, the easiest possible to the reader. And this is why we have to have a uniform um, bibliographic format. Another advantage of a bibliographic manager is that 
very often you can find, um, especially uh, with students, you can find that in the text you've got about 100 different um, uh, distinct in-text citations. However, um, in the bibliographic section, they have um, not inserted everything. So you've got out of 100, you're going to have only 80. So they're going to be about 20 citations in-text citations here that do not uh, correspond to anything. So the reader is not supposed to imagine if you don't have something like this, but the in-text citation format is like this. And then you go to for, and you have no idea what for stands for if it's something like this. It's, um, that is quite a bigger problem. So um, what um, Bibliographic Manager does is all you have to do is insert the in-text citations and then by, by click of a mouse it is going to generate, it's going to scan every single in-text citation and it's going to give you the full bibliographic reference here. So um, you're not going to have any gaps.